Guess what Jackson Hinkle found out? So, Jackson, you gotta, you're going to have to take the lead on the story. Breaking the Ukrainian government's Ministry of Digital Transformation is conducting mass reporting raids that were responsible for my multiple suspensions and permanent demonetization on YouTube. Here is one of the trolls boasting upon learning that their raid was successful. So here, here's what they say. They say things like this. This is for arranging coordinated strikes, meaning this this slav this website or whatever this is for arranging coordinated strikes like against jackson hinkle's pages big accounts require more coordination to be taken down what is this is this like a reddit what is this jackson oh god damn my internet is freezing uh trolls in there what is this what is this called what is this a reddit discord not reddit oh, it's a discord. Discord. discord is like the equivalent of a private facebook group Okay, I got you. And so here's another one, and you can't read it, but it says Jackson Hinkle's first, maybe Jimmy Dore next. Onwards to taking down the rest. And so, and then here's, they do it again. But the reason why this is, in, so then they brag about it. Hey, I just got a message from YouTube saying that something I reported was removed, and I think it was from him. Good job, guys. So they're talking about Jackson. This is Ukrainians? Actually, Ukrainians, you don't have any idea. So this is, this is where it comes from. So according to the group's website, the Digital Forces of Ukraine, their founder is Ivan Volkov, and he's a senior project leader at the Ministry of Digital Transformation of Ukraine. This is clearly a coordinated campaign that is being carried out at the behest of the Ukrainian government. <laughs> and there's wow. the guy. Imagine if they put as much effort into taking back that territory as they do into Jackson Hinkle. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. How about, hey, maybe you guys double down in the... Uh, Donbass, instead of worrying about YouTubers <laughs> in San Clemente. How about that? Yeah. So well, that, that, Since the beginning of the war, everyone knew that this was what it was going to come down to. They can't win the economic war. They can't win the military fight. So they're going to try to win the propaganda battle. And uh, I would say definitely in the States and the collective West, they've done a pretty good job of that, actually. They but actually that's have. all they've won. They ha that, you're right. That is all they've won. They've lost everything else. I like yeah. uh, Ukrainian hackers for if you thought Russian hackers had too much scruples. <laughs> <laughs> so here they've done it to other people. Like here's a big announcement, guys. Today, Chabuki Vibes, one of Russia's biggest trolls, was finally taken down by Twitter. The troll network received a huge impact with this. This is the power of a united community and Twitter showing why the rules must be followed. Keep going, everyone. Each time we are getting bigger and better victories for Ukraine. Slava, Ukraine. What does that mean? Ukraine for Slavs? Or <laughs> I, I don't know what that means. So, gotta <laughs> so here's and then this guy, the ghost of Zeppo. He says they target anyone non-pro-Ukrainian Twitter handle, no matter if you have one follower or 100,000. They are in serious violation of both Discord and Twitter terms of service. So you're not supposed to be able to do that. You're not supposed to be able to target someone and bully them like that. That goes against the terms of service for Twitter and Discord. And here they are doing it openly. Everyone knows it. Twitter's not doing shit, are they, Jackson? Twitter's not doing anything. Discord's not doing anything. They're allowing it to just run astray and uh it's interesting because they've taken down obviously twitter but also discord have taken down many popular uh you know pro russia or fair what i would deem like fair and balanced discord groups that were following the war in ukraine and um again the whole reason why is because this ivan volkov figure who is uh, working for the ukrainian government is literally he's a senior project leader for the ministry of digital transformation for the ukrainian government his senior project that he's leading is this massive troll farm of thousands of people, which has now also gained the attention of infamous Congress member Adam Kinzinger, who is tweeting out his support for this group and calling for a corrupt foreign government to censor American journalists who are telling the truth about what's going on here. And so Ukraine just isn't corrupt, Jackson. They're the most corrupt country in Europe. They're unbelievably corrupt. And yes, and so now... Here, I mean, they're so corrupt, they gave Hunter Biden a job. That's how corrupt they are. <laughs> right? And and so here they are. Now we have people like Adam Kinzinger, uh, who's just a complete garbage congressman, uh, now wanting to censor people like you, people like me, and more 
at the behest of the military industrial complex. That's what this is about. And saying that it's to help Ukraine. No, it's to help funnel money to the military industrial complex, right? A hundred percent. And not just the military industrial complex here in the United States, this group and it's, uh, you know, Twitter, a coordinated network called NAFO. If you've seen N-A-F-O in all caps on Twitter, this is the same exact group. People have it in their Twitter bios. Kinzinger has it on his Twitter bio. Uh, they are also doing a lot of fundraising right now. So not just banning people and mass reporting people, but they're fundraising for the Georgian Foreign Legion, which is a group who's been responsible for some of the most gruesome uh, you know, war crimes we've seen in the in the fighting in Ukraine, such as the infamous video where they shot two Russian POWs in the knees and let them bleed out uh, while they videotaped it all and laughed. So that's who they're fundraising for, this group that is uh, trying to take us down and target us. I saw that video. That was very disturbing where the Ukrainian soldiers were shooting the prisoners of war in the legs and just laughing and watching them bleed out and die. It was horrible. Mm -hmm. Um. And so those are the people who are censoring us. So congratulations to Young Turks. You got it done. You got everybody gets to be censored now. Congratulations, Jank, and congratulations, Anna. Uh, you got it. You, you did it. You should write a book, dude. You should. <laughs> <laughs> Jank Uger, you should write a book about how your success in getting social media to censor everybody who disagrees with your political opinion. But I know you'll never write that book, but you might sell it. It should be called, I tell you, I could write a book by Chank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, it, well, here the, here's this. So the ghost of Zeppo tweets at Discord, right? So this is, there, this is their Twitter account, Discord, right? And... They say, hey, thank you for sharing this. We want to take a closer look into this claim. Could you please reach out to our trust and safety team for additional support? You can find the guide here. And then the ghost says, thank you for such a fast reply. That was on August 6th at 8.18 p.m. So uh, they're not doing shit. No, no. And they're they're. They're not going to do anything because they've been successful. You know, they got me suspended twice. Uh, they got me permanently demonetized. They got that Pelmina Pusha Twitter account taken down. And they've got a list that they just post every single day and send to their thousands of trolls to go and mass report, which, again, is supposed to be a violation. YouTube and Twitter are supposed to be able to um, understand and, and recognize this pattern of mass reporting and not take people down when this happens. But, uh, it, you know, it's giving them full discretion to do so. They have a reason to do so, so they're going to do it. And I wouldn't be surprised, Jimmy, uh, if they begin coming after you next. Yeah, well, they've, been, they've come at me for, uh, a lot. I have. They've had. I mean, go look at my Wikipedia page. Wait, am I going to have a problem now? Yes, you're going to have a problem, <laughs> Kurt. Wait a minute. Kurt KurtMetzgerComedy.com is going to get hacked by the Ukrainian troll farm. I mean, go, go, just go look at my Wikipedia. It's all full of fucking bullshit from the intelligence community and from the, they have, they have debunked shit from CNN in there. Jimmy, CNN business says Jimmy Dore is a conspiracy theorist because of his serious, but that's all been debunked. They're serious, that, but you can't get that out of Wikipedia. It stays forever. It's nuts, but that's, yeah, of course. Yeah. That, I mean, I don't, I have no idea how I'm still up on YouTube and Jackson has been demonetized and given two strikes because we cover Ukraine the exact same way. Because they probably it's probably a bunch of kind of young near Jackson age recruits doing that. And uh -huh. he's a young. So they're going to focus on because it is bizarre. They will focus on him that much. Yeah. But that's a discord like a young thing. And that's that's what that is. That's what it's amazing to me from watching when it was just little, you know, regular people setting up crazy mobs online. Right. <laughs> How fast that became an actual instrument of war well, with like actual nations doing it to you. That's exactly what's happening. And that's not all they have is, uh, you know, these brutal tactics of things like uh, censorship uh, to try to control the narrative. That's all they have. Hey, we're doing live stand-up comedy coming to your town, Indianapolis, Louisville, Cincinnati, Tulsa, Oklahoma City, Detroit, Rochester. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all the tickets for all our dates. See you in Denver, too.